across the nation We have got the information In a way We hope we'll amuse You With Dan Rowan and Dick Martin and Mayor Yorty out of town, Howard Hughes out of sight, Toby Fields out of food, Wilt Chamberlain out of reach, and Liberace out of it. Good evening. And here is Dick Martin with the news of the present. An archaeologist today dug up the world's oldest mummy in sight unseen, George Jessel proposed. <laughs> Johnson City, Texas, researchers and students are running into great problems at the Lyndon Johnson Memorial Library since all 31 million pieces of paper are filed under the letter J. <laughs> Copenhagen, Denmark, American showgirl Carol Gale initiated a malpractice suit here today after a plastic surgeon accidentally injected her with silly putty instead of silicone. <laughs> Carol claimed that uh, overnight she went from a 34B to a 42 long. <laughs> and now over to Dan for news of the future. Uh, don't like to hear about I don't those know. things. California, 20 years from now, the smog problem, which has been plaguing Los Angeles for years, has finally been solved. Ridding the city of the dreaded air pollutant for good. The great event was celebrated by both of the surviving citizens. <laughs> Mayo Clinic, 20 years after the reenactment of no-fault automobile insurance, a group of prominent lawyers today released a special study noting that whiplash injuries have virtually disappeared. And so has a group of prominent lawyers. <laughs> Use the future 20 years from now. The Vietnam War finally looks as if it's ending. Troop withdrawal was completed today as the last plane load of South Vietnamese soldiers took off, leaving the entire country in the hands of the Americans. <laughs> and now for Kid News for Kids, we take you to a treehouse somewhere in Burbank. Lucy here with Kid News for Kids. You know something? We played baseball with the big kids and we almost beat them. At the end of the ninth inning, it was nothing to nothing, but they beat us in the tent. 32 to nothing. Boys, what an inning that was. Butchie, our pitcher, walked the first 18 batters. Then Fat Flirty bunted a home run. Then Butchie walked 23 more guys. But our team did set a new world record. We kept the bases loaded for seven hours on one bunt. Anyway, if they want me to be the catcher next Saturday, they got to get me a catcher's man. Cause it's murder catching without a glove. Back to you, Now for an exclusive report from our man in London. Come in, our man in London. We're here at Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park to interview a man who threatens to invade the United States. Listen, I say we must form an invasion army now! Here, here. Bravo, we have a volunteer. Well no, done. No, 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 no. I, I am an American. Darling, we accept deserters. Anybody to fight a war in the colonies? <laughs> a war in the colonies? I beg your pardon, but America did defeat England during the Revolutionary War. Rubbish! That was not a defeat! Oh. That was a tactical withdrawal! So we could prepare for a sneak attack! Oh. Sneak attack! Sneak attack! That, that was almost 200 years ago. I know, it's gonna be really sneaky, isn't it? <laughs> and you actually plan to take over America. Darling! The colonies in Great Britain! Belong together! Yeah. We have the same heritage, the same civilization! The same language! Why shouldn't we fight? Well, why should we fight? Well, I'll tell you why, darling. That's <laughs> oh, your trouble with you, Americans. Get hung up on violence! Now we take you to our man in deepest Africa. Chief, it recently became known that 
every member of your tribe lives to be 148 years old. Can you tell us why? Yes, we found that if you let them live any longer, they start to get on your nerves. Excuse me, I have a hair appointment. Hi, Busy Buzzy here, reporting from the back alleys of Hollywood. <laughs> it's still in the rumor stage, but the smart money says that Metro Golden Mayor is going to make a movie of the life of Charlton Heston. The title role will be played by God. <laughs> And that's the news from Tinseltown. Bye from Buzzy. <laughs> kissy, kissy. <laughs> and that's the way it is. Friday, October 12th, 1492.